okay for his excuse my voice because i'm sick and excuse my nose because i was trying to exfoliate it and i was too rough <laughs> i will be using a matte foundation as my base for my eyeshadow after i blend down the foundation i'm going to get a flat brush and I'm going to work it up to my eyebrows so I can blend it out evenly. For this eyeshadow look, I will be using the James Charles palette and the first color I'm going to be going in with is B. I will be going back and forth and packing on the color until I like how bright it is. With a different eyeshadow brush, I will be going in with 518. I am going to do the same steps with each color, going back and forth and packing it on. I'm going back in with the shade B and I am blending it in along with 518. Then I am getting 518 and blending it in even more. Again with a different eyeshadow brush we will be going in with rusted and keep doing the same steps as we were before. Now we're going to dip in the shade Escape and we're going to put it all over my crease. I forgot to mention that I will be using a flat brush. Now that I have the desired color, I will be going in with the bigger eyeshadow brush and blending Escape into Rusted. With a different flat brush, I will be going into the shade you're kidding and putting it all over my eyelid. I will be blending in your kidding along with Escape and Rusted. Now I'm doing my eyeliner. I like to do it messy because I already have the tape and it just helps me out a little bit better. Next, I will be using 24-hour Maybelline foundation and putting dots all over my face. When I finish putting my foundation in my desired areas, I go ahead and blend it in with the Beauty Blender. I don't know about you guys, but I always end up messing up my eyebrows when doing my forehead. So I will be going in and filling them in as soon as I'm done. Next, I'm getting my Tarte concealer and I'm going to put it under my eyes, on my nose, and on my forehead.
usually I don't drag my concealer all the way down but this time I put too much so I will be just working with it and trying to blend it out as much as I can Now I am going to contour my nose. Now I will be doing contour on my cheeks. I like to make a line and work it a little bit up so it won't be all focused in one place and so it won't be so harsh. Then I'm going ahead and blending everything out with a beauty blender. After I blend out everything with the Beauty Blender, I like to get a flat angled brush and blend it even more. Next, I'm going to get the Maybelline Concealer and put a little bit on my nose. First I will be blending it out with my finger, then a flat brush. I feel like this is easier for me so I won't mess up my, um, my contour. Next I'm going to add a little bit of um, lip injection from Too Faced. And just to moisturize basically and plump my lips while I do my contour. Now I'm using a brown eyeshadow to use as my bronzer. Then again, I will be blending it out with a bigger brush. After I use a big fluffy brush, I will be getting my beauty blender so I can blend it even more. Now I'm going to use a banana powder from the Makeup Shack. I like to blow off a little bit of the powder so it won't be on too cakey. Now I will be using a loose powder from Fit Me in the shade 30. I like to put it on my forehead as it gets really greasy and it, um, it creases. Now that I finished putting the powder on my forehead, I am going to dust off the powder under my eyes. I am going to use this highlighter called You Go Girl in the shade Twilight. Now I'm going to use my rose water so I can spray my, my brush and so I can get a better and brighter highlight.
then I will be using the L'Oreal um, mascara and then I will also be using the Sephora mascara but it's no longer available I forgot to film an outro so these are some pictures that I took <laughs>